Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about general ledger security in Oracle Fusion application. Overview of general ledger security. General ledger functions and data are secured through job rules, data access sets and segment value security rules. In Oracle Fusion application, we enter the client's data. So we require the security for it. For that, we will see how to manage general ledger security for that data. There are two types of security provided by Oracle Fusion application. First is function security. In the functional security, it is managed using job rules. The following job rules are predefined for Oracle Fusion general ledger. These are the rules that we have to assign to the user general accounting manager, general accountant, financial analyst. The second is data security. In the data security, it controls what action can be taken against which data. It's managed using data access set and segment value security rules. Data access set secure access to ledgers, ledger sets, and portion of ledgers using primary balancing segment values. This is the figure that shows that a data access set consists of an access type and access level. So in access type, either you can give the access to full ledger or to only primary balancing segment value. When you talk about access level, you can provide the access for reading purpose only where you can not edit anything. And the other one is read and write where you can read it and also you can edit if you want to. We set up segment value security rules on value sets to control access to parent or on detailed segment values for chart of account segments. Segment value security rules restrict data entry, online inquiry and reporting. Secured value sets. When you enable security on a value set, access to all values for that value set is denied. Secure segment value. When you enable security on segment values, Access to those secured values across all modules of the application is denied. Now we will see practically how to manage general ledger security in Oracle Fusion application. Before assigning the data access set to user, we have to assign the following rules to that user. Without those rules, that user cannot perform data access set tasks. Click on Navigator, go to Tools option, here you have to select on Security Console. Click on Users, search here by username. Click on the username. You can see here, I've already assigned the role to this user. Application Implementation Consultant, Financial Analyst, General Accountant, General Accounting Manager, IT Security Manager. For assigning the data access to this user, we have to assign three roles, that is General Accountant, General Accounting Manager, and IT Security Manager. Click on Done. Go to Setup and Maintenance. Go to Task List. Click on Manage Implementation Project. Select your project. Search Manage Data Access Sets. Click on it. Click on Go to Task option. 
click on your primary ledger this is the primary ledger created by me by the time you create primary ledger system automatically generate data access set to that primary ledger here you can see the message this is a system generated data access set and can't be updated you cannot make any changes in this data set as it is generated by system but for creating new data set you can click on create icon from here we will create new data access set as per the requirement of the user here we have to give the name of data access set access set type so you either you can give the access to full ledger or you can give the access to only primary balancing segment value so here i am taking it as primary balancing segment value select the chart of accounts select your accounting calendar click on create select the ledger here you can give access to all values or to specific value i'm disabling it as i want to give the access for only specific values here it is asking parent value or single value i'm taking it as single value now this option is activated and the meaning of it is that for which segment value you need to give access to user here you can see i have given the name annual 2000 data access set so i'm giving access for 2000 segment value that is annual service provider there are two type of privileges that is read only where an access of where an read where an user have will have only access to read and read and write in which he can go through it and also can edit the detail in it so i am taking it as read and write click on save and close click on done now i will assign this data access set to user so for this we have to uh, search here manage data access set data access for users click on go to task option click on create select the username to which you want to give the access role select security context as data access set in the security context value you have to select the data access set created by us select it click on okay you can give data access to the same user or you can give the data access to different users in my case i am giving the access to the same user that is west 0491 
they can't save and close. They can't run. This was the manner how we assign the data access set for users. We have seen the data access sets. Now we will see segment value security rules. Search manage chart of accounts value sets. Click on it. Go to task option. Here search the value set code. Click on edit. This is our value set. Now what we will do is in the department segment, we have three departments, 110, 120 and 130. We will restrict the user to use only 110 and 130. We will not give access to this user for 120 department. Here we will enable security We have to give data security resource name. We have seen the data access sets. Now we will see segment value security rules. Search manage chart of accounts value sets. Click on it. Go to task option. Here search the value set code. Click on add it. This is our value set. Now what we will do is in the department segment, we have three departments, 110, 120 and 130. We will restrict the user to use only 110 and 130. We will not give access to this user for 120 department. Here we will enable security We have to give data security resource name. We will give, give name as, we will give name as condition 110 and 130 NL. We will click on save. Right now, this edit data security tab is disabled. After saving it, it will get enabled. Click on edit data security. Click on create icon. Give the name of the condition. Here, we are, will select any. As we are giving two conditions, so if any of the conditions satisfy, the user can access to it. If we will give all, then when two conditions will satisfy at the same time, then only that user can access that. Therefore, we are giving any so that even one condition is satisfied, user can have access to it. 
click on create icon select value here you will select equal to 110 130 click on save now click on policy click on create icon here we will select as multiple values as we are giving condition for two values that is 110 and 130 condition give the start date select the module here by default it is general ledger click on role click on add icon search the role name here select the application search select the general accountant role click on apply then click on okay click on rule click on search option select it and click on okay click on save and close click on okay click on submit you can see the message here database resource condition for 110 and 130 and updated successfully now when you will pass journal entries it will restrict this user from passing journal entry for 120 department this is how we enable the security i hope you understood thank you so much for watching the video